I'm Jamie Costello with your WMAR 2 News update. Wednesday afternoon, we learned a massive criminal enterprise tried to steal hundreds of millions of dollars in unemployment insurance benefits here in the state of Maryland. The Secretary of Labor said that they uncovered this scheme over the 4th of July weekend. There were more than 47,000 fraudulent claims amounting to $501 million, and those are the ones the state caught, but we don't know how much the state has paid out. Also, the governor said that the state's unemployment insurance system was not breached. The identities were stolen in other data breaches. The Baltimore Police Department has now released a one year review of its five year transformation and crime reduction strategy. In it, the department lists the fiscal training and accountability measures it's taken over the past year, along with its new technology. The review found an overall 21% reduction in violent and property crimes but that the number of homicides throughout the city has gone up by 2% over the past year. Because of that, the department plans to roll out new programs meant to reduce violent crime. You can read the department's one-year review on WMAR2news.com. State and Baltimore City leaders are now going to be at a hearing on Wednesday to address issues with the recent primary election. They'll also discuss what can be done to make sure that the same problems don't happen during the general election. Representatives from the State Board of Election answered questions about the upcoming election, which is expected to take place in person. Board members say they're still figuring out how to best keep roll and poll workers and voters safe, but they have some ideas in mind. Listen. Assuming that the pandemic is still an issue in November, uh, everybody has to know that the layout and flow of each voting center and polling place will have to be reconfigured to comply with social distancing and public health guidelines. This means far fewer people can be in the center or the polling place at the same time. Well, this year's general election will take place on Tuesday, November the 3rd. And an organization in Baltimore County is hoping to give masks to dozens of kids in foster homes. Court Appointed Special Advocates, or CASA, is partnering up with the network of more than 30 volunteers to make the mask, and they'll be free. The child size mask can fit kids from two years old all the way up to teenage years. The mask will also have colorful designs. The volunteer network that's helping make the mask has made nearly 17,000 free masks for hospitals and nursing homes here in the Baltimore area this past spring. We are looking at a mostly cloudy start to the day tomorrow with temperatures in the 70s, but quickly warming into the upper 80s. While not as quite as hot as the last couple of days, I am expecting humidity to play a bigger part in the forecast. We'll warm up to 89 here in the city of Baltimore, 84 in Bel Air to Parkton, 86 from Annapolis down towards Easton. Seven-day forecast unfortunately has temperatures warming over 10 degrees as we push toward the beginning of next week into the low 90s for the weekend with low rain chances lingering up to 97 by Monday with feel-like temperatures in the triple digits. All right, click with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also, for news and weather while you're out there on the go, download the WMAR2 News app in the App Store. You can watch live radar and get breaking news sent right to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Jamie Costello. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.